The biggest mistake I made when I was younger was believing that the reason I was inconsistent, whether it was to stick to a workout routine or wake up at a reasonable time, is simply because I lacked the motivation. No, it was actually because I lacked healthy habits to keep your girl in check. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share 11 healthy girl habits that will change your life and help you become the best version of yourself. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Lena. I have a self-help series here on my channel where we discuss all things uplifting and becoming your best self. So if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Go subscribe right now. So I am the biggest advocate for journaling. The real ones on my channel already know, but the reason why I hype it up is because it genuinely works. So I actually started journaling every morning back when I was in college as a baby 19 year old. I did not have any sort of morning routine. I would wake up so late. I did not have my life together, had no idea what was going on. And journaling was that one consistent thing for me that just kept me going. Like it's still to this day so key for me. It honestly just helps me start my morning on the right foot. And it's just a small way to make sure I'm taking care of my mental health. And whenever I don't do it in the morning, my morning just feels like out of whack. Like it's such a small thing, but when you commit to it and do it every single morning, you're gonna notice a huge difference over time like it does not matter how much i slept how busy i feel how stressed i feel that morning i always make sure to make time to get journaling done it is just a non-negotiable habit for me and it has changed my life so your girl just finished her morning journaling session i got my journal my daily devotional and my bible listen i know i'm a little extra with it okay you do not have to be extra like me and have a bunch of different parts to your journaling routine like not everybody has the time or the energy in the morning i get it but what i really recommend people start off with especially if you're new to journaling is just start with a simple daily gratitude for the day and let me tell you this is not to be some type of cheesy exercise you know like what's going good in my life versus what's going bad in my life but practicing daily gratitude and writing it down is just like a daily brain exercise you're basically just training your brain to see the amazing things in your life that you know sometimes we often overlook because we're just so busy with our day we're so busy with things we have to get done so it's just a nice simple way to take a few minutes just to think about the great things in your life big or small and it sets your brain to start off your day with a positive mindset because before I started journaling I would just wake up thinking about like oh I have to get this done today I was thinking about all my stresses my life problems so start by writing down three things that you're grateful for so for example I'm grateful that I was able to get eight hours of sleep last night I'm grateful for my health and the health of all my loved ones I'm grateful for the amazing YouTube community that I have that genuinely feels like my friends my family that we just uplift each other motivate each other and then after that you can do a to-do list so things you would like to get done for the day I just find that it helps me organize all the things that I have to do I just like to jot down things I'd like to get done for the day and then checking it off is like the best feeling. <laughs> highly, highly recommend that you start journaling. So hydrate and wait at least 90 minutes before drinking your coffee or tea for the morning. This is a very underrated habit, but genuinely changed my life, okay? I used to be the type of person, immediately after waking up, I needed my cup of coffee, like, to function for the day. Like, literally shortly after waking up, I would chug a coffee just to keep my eyes open for the morning. I needed the caffeine to hit my system immediately. So something I actually learned online by Dr. Huberman is that drinking caffeine shortly after waking up can disrupt your natural cortisol levels, which can lead to poor sleep quality, difficulty waking up in the morning, and that midday afternoon crash that you get, you just want to take a nap and like not do anything. It's probably because you're drinking caffeine shortly after waking up. So research says that waiting 90 minutes before consuming caffeine can actually help you preserve your natural cortisol pattern and it promotes better sleep and wakefulness. And you know, at first when I heard this information, I was like, girl, no, I need my coffee and I need that straight in the morning. <laughs> but let me tell you, when I actually tried it, my life changed. I literally no longer get the afternoon crash at like 12, 1, 2 p.m. Like I literally used to drink two cups of coffee every single day. And now I just drink one in the morning, 90 minutes after I wake up and I'm good to go. So if you're like me, just try to chill on the coffee or the tea in the morning just a little bit for a little while. And in the meantime, instead, you should hydrate yourself actually with water. I like to add some lemon in mine. Also, because think about it, you literally have not drinking water in like seven, eight hours while you're sleeping. So you have to hydrate when you wake up. So I actually like to spice things up a little bit add some lemon to my water, sprinkle some sea salts too for the electrolytes. I also really like to drink greens in the morning, especially while I do my morning journaling. 
So this is actually something I've been implementing recently that has changed the game, okay? I have been loving it and it is drinking bone broth. I know it sounds a little weird. Actually, the first time I heard of this is when I watched the Kylie Jenner What I Eat in a Day video. And this girl was just drinking bone broth multiple times a day, all day, every day. So the first thing I eat when I wake up is probably my bone broth. I do sip on bone broth all day. So I'll go through probably like two jars like this big of bone broth a day. And I was just thinking, why is Kylie drinking all this bone broth all day? Well, after your girl did some Googling, I found out that bone broth has so many benefits. It's a great source of essential nutrients, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, and it's actually widely known for its collagen content, which if you don't know, collagen plays a crucial role in the health of your skin, your nails, your hair, and it's even great for your metabolism and your gut health. Especially because it's like cold weather right now, this just hits the spot. Listen, I don't know about you guys, but I'm trying to stay in my healthy girl era, take care of my skin. So look no further. I'm gonna put you guys on to the bone broth that I found that has been my go-to. I have been loving this Dr. Kelly Ann's bone broth. Shout out Dr. Kelly Ann for sponsoring today's video. I know this is sponsored, but I genuinely love their bone broth. I've tried a few different ones and this has been my go-to because it's just so convenient. Their bone broth is infused with collagen and they have these super convenient like on-the-go packets. So it makes it so much easier for you to nourish your body without having to cook or prep it's literally so easy to do I just pop a cup of water in the microwave for a few minutes I take it out and then I put one of the packets in add a little bit of salt pepper or lemon whatever I'm feeling that day it literally takes just a few minutes to prep so it's so easy to just drink it throughout the day they even have like 15 16 grams of protein per serving so perfect for the gains and since I've been implementing bone broth in my daily routine I've noticed a difference in my overall like gut health like things are running smoothly you know what I mean and I don't know if it's just me but I just feel like my hair looks shinier my skin feels more clear I almost feel like a new person and it literally tastes so yummy it's like a warm yummy soup on a cold day it just hits the spot some of my personal favorite flavors is the french onion and the chicken bone broth is a natural healthy and effective option to just take care of your well-being from the inside out so if you guys are interested dr kelly ann's bone broth is available on drkellyann.com i'll have a link down below if you guys are interested and you want to support your girl so don't miss out get on that bone broth wave head to the link in my description box or use code lena bb20 for 20 percent off don't miss out you guys get your discount save your money save your coin. So this is my little hot girl walk fit. Got the headphones, of course, and a much needed huge bottle of water. Get my steps in, you already know. Let's go. So if you work from home like me, or you work in an office all day, or maybe you're sitting in a classroom all day, you're a student, chances are your daily steps be slacking. <laughs> I know mine was, okay? But creating this goal for myself to get my steps in and be intentional about it every day, first of all, pushes my homebody ass out the door. <laughs> Instead of holding myself in my room, I actually go and get some sunlight outside, which by the way, is so good for your mental health, but also your physical health. It's such a super easy but effective way of getting you to just move your body. You know, sometimes to incentivize me to actually go on a walk outside and get my butt through the the door <laughs> I give myself a little treat so I walk myself to get my favorite smoothie or go to a cafe you know giving yourself a little prize for doing the dang thing <laughs> So do the closing shift during your night routine. So I actually first heard this on TikTok. You think of your house as a, the restaurant and you have to close up so that the person who opens the next morning, AKA you, <laughs> comes to a clean apartment. You need to treat your space, your apartment, your room, your house at night like you're working a closing shift. <laughs> Why? To set up for morning you shift. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, I used to be that type of person. I would just let dishes pile up in my sink and let morning Lena handle that. <laughs> or I would just leave stuff on my desk. I wouldn't wipe my kitchen counter and I actually didn't realize how much this affected morning Lena because when I wake up in the morning, my apartment would be kind of a mess. And even though it's not that big of a deal, subconsciously, I just felt more stressed, like seeing things out, seeing things dirty, seeing dishes pile up. Like when you're working your morning shift in your space, you want it to be clean. You know, that's how you want to start your day because I always say that a clean space is a clear mind. So now that I think of cleaning my space a little bit at night as a closing shift and just making sure things are ready and clean for morning Lena. And that also includes laying out my workout clothes the night before so I don't have to think about in the morning, I just throw it on and go to the gym. I found that I woke up so much more refreshed and just ready for the day. I'm not gonna lie, I started this very recently, but it has genuinely been so helpful. Charge your phone away from you, okay? That charger by the bed, ain't it, girl? I forced myself to put my charger far away from the bed, far away from my face, and it's been really helping me not reach for it at night before I go to bed, which has been helping me sleep earlier and fall asleep faster. 
which this actually leads me to my next point, which is set your alarm far away from you. I know you guys don't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear it, but it's for our good, okay? When you set your alarm, whether it's on your phone or you have an alarm clock, when you have it far away from you, where you have to actually physically get up and go turn it off, chances are you're probably not going to hit that snooze button like you usually do. I used to use my Alexa for my alarms all the time, but literally when Miss Alexa would go on in the morning, I would just tell her to be quiet and throw my covers back on and fall back asleep. So to actually wake up in the morning when you have to, it really helps when you put your alarm far away from you where you have to get up and go shut it off. Read five pages of something every single day. So I don't care if it's a book, a Bible, your calc textbook, I don't know. <laughs> Not only does regular reading just help you get into a good habit, it also just helps you exercise your brain. You know, just like how we go to the gym to go work out and work on our physical health, we gotta also exercise the brain too. It's like giving your brain a little five minute workout every day. I usually read my Bible in the morning and sometimes I read at night, but I feel like five pages is a very doable commitment. And a lot of times I read more than five pages. So just having that number in your head most likely will help you stick to it. And personally, I just feel like we should always be evolving and just seeking information, learning new things, and reading really helps with that. Have a feel good music playlist that is just you. Listen, I listen to music when I clean, when I shower, on my way to the gym, while I'm at the gym. I'll actually have my own playlist linked in the description. You know, if you wanna listen to the same music as your girl. But music literally just gets me motivated to do things. It makes me feel good, it makes me feel confident, it makes me feel uplifted. All right, the real ones know, whenever I clean my apartment, I always need to blast music. Here's my current playlist. I called it the main character playlist because I'm trying to be the main character of my own life, you know? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've been obsessed with this song lately. No idea what she's saying, but it's fire. So having a go-to playlist of just like your favorite songs that help uplift you, not make you sad and keep you in your sad girl era, crying in bed, uplifts you and makes you feel good about yourself. So remember that words have power. So spend your day listening to positive motivational things. So whether it's telling yourself positive affirmations or listening to a positive motivational podcast, because words are very powerful, you guys. If you're listening to negative things all throughout the day, you're just gonna find yourself in a low vibration and energy. So personally, I love to listen to podcasts throughout the day or listen to YouTube videos. So actually a few of my favorite podcasts is Diary of a CEO for entrepreneurship, business mindset, The Huberman Lab for a lot of motivational and scientifically backed life and healthy habit advice. The Wizard Liz for dating and independent era vibes. Anything goes by Emma Chamberlain. And just throughout the day, I just make sure that I tell myself daily affirmations. So while I'm doing my morning skincare, I tell myself I'm confident, I'm beautiful, I have clear skin, even when I don't have clear skin. <laughs> while I'm working out, I tell myself I am fit, I am an athlete, I am healthy. Sleep at least eight hours. I know you guys hear this all the time, but it is so true how important sleep is. There's so many scientific reasons why you should be getting at least eight hours of sleep. I'm gonna let the experts cover that one. <laughs> but just for myself, since I've made it a point to get eight hours of sleep at least every single night, which you know, sometimes it means I gotta sacrifice the late night TikTok scrolling or putting my phone on do not disturb, skipping out on super late night plans. I feel so much better and I wake up earlier. <laughs> and I just wake up feeling ready for my day and ready to take charge of my day. Get at least eight hours of sleep and your future yourself is gonna thank you. So I want you guys to comment down below any other healthy habits that you have in mind or any healthy habits that I mentioned that you wanna start implementing in your life. Check the comments, I read all my comments. Follow me on Instagram for more motivational fitness lifestyle content and I love you guys so, so much and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh,